recently discovered biggest volcano on Earth, Dwarf's Yellowstone supervolcano. It's the Tamu Massive that is found deep under sea in uh, the Pacific. The Tamu Massive is the largest volcano on Earth, recently discovered, 2013. Just like recently has been discovered a supervolcano in Australia, you'll see in one of my previous videos that was recently discovered, and a lot of people are surprised, saying, how is that possible? Well, let's remember, for example, Australia is the least populated country of the world, and most of the people in Australia live on the, west, the eastern side of uh, the continent, and uh, a lot of pe places there are still unexplored. Now, this is just another new volcanic discovery, and it's been uh, recently uh, um, discovered because of this thing being underwater. The Tamu Massive makes Yellowstone seem tiny. It's the largest volcano discovered on Earth because it's underneath the sea, underneath is the Pacific Ocean. Oceanographers led by Dr. William Sager of the University of Houston discovered what they say is the biggest single volcano yet documented on our planet. The volcano named Tamu Massive, after Texas A&M University, is believed to be about 145 million years old. It became inactive within a few million years after it was formed. The top of Tamu Massive lies about 6,500 feet below the ocean surface, while much of its base is believed to be in waters that are almost four miles deep. Dr. Saber and his colleagues from Japan, UK, and the United States examined a large underwater area in the Northwest Pacific known as the Shatsi Rise, located about a thousand miles east of Japan, and they found that the plateau contained three enormous mounds. They got tired of referring to them as one on the left, one on the right, one on the big, the big one, Dr. Sager said with who colleagues reported the discovery in the journal Nature Geoscience. He says, we knew it was big, we had no idea it was a large, one large volcano. Our final calculations have determined it's about 120 square miles in area, or about the size of the state of the whole of New Mexico, making it by far the largest ever discovered on Earth. It rivals the size some of the largest volcanoes in the solar system, such as the Olympus Mons on the planet Mars. Olympus Mons, the largest volcano on Mars, is so big that it can be seen with many common backyard telescopes. The largest active volcano on Earth is Mauna Loa in Hawaii, which has erupted off and on for the past 700,000 years, but it is about 2,000 square miles in size, which is a tiny fraction of Tamu Massive. Quote, what is unusual about the volcano is its slope. It's not high, but it's very wide. So the flank slopes are very gradual. In fact, if you're standing on its flank, you would have trouble telling which way is down. We know that it is a single immense volcano constructed from massive lava flows that emanated from the center of the volcano to form a broad, thick, shield-like shape, said Dr. Sager. He says, its shape is different from any other submarine volcano found on Earth, and it's very possible it can give us some clues about how massive volcanoes can form. An immense amount of magma came from the center, and its magma had to have come from the Earth's mantle. So this is important information for geologists trying to understand how the Earth's interior works, he said. So, Tamu Massive, the extinct submarine shield volcano, is located in northwestern Pacific Ocean. Possibility of its nature as a single volcano, a, a volcano announced September 5, 2013, so that was just about five years ago, which, if corroborated, would make Tamu Massive the largest known volcano on Earth. It's located in the Shatsi Rise, about 990 miles east of Japan. Its summit lies about 1,980 meters or 6,500 feet below the surface of the ocean, and its base extends to a depth of about four miles. The volcano is about 14,620 feet tall. 
Dr. William Sager, the marine geophysicist from the Department of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences at the University of Houston, began studying the volcano around 1993 and at Texas A&M College of Geosciences. And according to him and his team, Tamu Massive is the biggest single shield volcano ever discovered on Earth. While other igneous features on the planet are larger, such as the Ontong and Java Plateau, it has not yet been determined if they are indeed just one volcano or rather a complex of several volcanoes close to each other. As far as the geology of this concerned, Tamu Massive was formed about 145 million years ago during the late Jurassic to early Cretaceous period over a relatively short period of time, a few million years, and then it became extinct. So if confirmed, the suggestion that it could be a single volcano would make the Tamu Massive the largest known volcano on Earth, dwarfing the current record holder, Mauna Loa, of the Hawaiian Islands. Tamu's rounded dome extends over an area of about 280 miles by 400 miles, totaling more than 112,900 square kilometers. So it's many times larger than Mauna Loa of Hawaii, which has an area of only 1,900 square miles. So as you can see, Tamu, Tamu uh, Massive is about 100 percent, 100, 100 times bigger, and about half the area of the Martian volcano Olympus Mons. The entire mass of Tamu consists of basalt. Its slopes are very gradual, ranging from less than half a degree to one degree near the summit, while the Shatsky Rise Ocean Plateau is comparable in size to California or Japan. Tamu Massive, which is the plateau's oldest and largest edifice, is comparable in size to New Mexico or even Britain and Ireland put together. Using magnetic lineations, researchers discovered that there are three bathymetric highs and a low ridge, a topography that would imply three separate volcanoes. But the plume head model indicates a single massive volcano. Based on multi-channel seismic profiles and rock samples from Integrated Ocean Drilling Program, OIDP for short, core sites, Tamu Massive appears to be a single massive volcano made of lava flows that emanated from the volcano center and formed its shield shape. However, the profiles have large gaps in them, leaving open the possibility that it may represent the activity of more than one volcano. The name Tamu is taken from the initials of Texas A&M University, Tamu for short, where William Sager, the geology professor uh, for the University of Houston and one of the lead scientists studying the volcano, previously taught massive, which means massive, in French, massif, Tamu massif, massive in French, is a large mountain or a section of the planet's crust that is demarcated by faults and flexures. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help 
economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.